Hi, this video to explain an example in expectation maximization algorithm. So in the expectation maximization algorithm, we are having two steps, estimation steps and um, uh, maximization step. So initially, we will get the data set here. The data set will have set of features and we will assign the theta parameter values uh, theta a and theta b and we will estimate the uh, missing values uh, to find the missing values we will estimate the uh, estimate the observed data with parameters to uh, fill the missing values then here we will try to minimize the error to get maximum uh, optimal value so for that here we will update the theta uh, that old theta into new theta after updating here x is already given in the data set so using that x and we will apply the new theta value in the second iteration then again we will estimate the solution then again we will keep on uh, we will keep on find the new theta value until getting the maximum likelihood values maximum likelihood values so here uh, the given data set is having six samples one two three four five six so in this three samples are missing the data these are all called missing values how can we find the missing values for a given data set using uh, em algorithm so for this we are having one experiment so the here i am using the importing the uh, numpy package and the math package for the calculation and we assume this data is generated by using the any one of the uh, distribution normal distribution or exponential distribution or poisson or binomial distribution so here just i have taken only uh, a single vector x 10 1 5 as per our assumption so x is uh, having the vector 10 1 5 here i am considering uh, number of missing values are 3 number of missing values are 3 as per our uh, given data set here our given data set is shown already in the um, so here the given data set is so given so three missing values and three of three data values are given so as per this now we are going to estimate the missing values estimate the missing values in the estimation step what we will do uh, we will uh, we will find out first the number of samples given is 3 and missing values are 3 so samples given 10 1 5 so that is the that shows the number of samples is 3 in the estimation step here uh, we are going to find out the mean we are going to find out the mean why we are using the mean because our data set is having the integer values uh, so I am going to use uh, numerical data for numerical data we can use the mean or uh, to fill the missing values so here I am calculating the summation of all the data 10 1 5 16 divided by 6 values so 3 samples already given 3 are missing values so 6 samples so this mean value is going to fill as a missing values at initial stage so in the initial stage 2.66 so this is going to be fill as a missing values this is going to be fill as a missing values so here the 2.66 2.66 uh, is assigned as a, miss, a missing values as per the step expectation now we are going to uh, find out the uh, optimal values in the next step optimal values in the next step so here we are going to find out uh, three missing values so initially we are taking previous mean is zero then we are updating the mean by using the uh, mean and missing values into number of missing values divided by n plus number of missing values we are updating the mean value here by using the missing values earlier we didn't use the missing value so here missing values values are 2.66 so just we are finding the mean so what this step is performing 
So already mean is there. Already mean is there. Then plus the missing values. So three missing values. So three into two point six six. So it is calculating the mean, which is calculating the mean, right? So calculating the mean for all six values. That is this step. So here the mean is updated here. Uh, then updated mean uh, with the missing value. Updated mean is assigned to the missing values now because earlier we used only three values to update the mean. Now we are using six values. Here in this step we are using the six values uh, to update the mean. So here the uh, previous mean is zero. You look at that. Previous mean is zero. Updated mean is calculated. Then we are updating until until the this difference until this difference becomes less than 0 0.05 less than 0 0.05 you look at that in the first iteration we are getting 4.167 as the um, difference in the second iteration 0 0.583 third iteration 0 0.292 uh, fourth iteration 0 0.146 fifth iteration 0 0.073 Sixth iteration 0 0.036, which is less than 0 0.05. So it is stopped. It is stopped. Now the uh, the current mean value is 5.297. So these values are now updated into the data set 5.297. So 5.297 is updated into the data set into the data set so here the 2.66 is updated as 5.29 5.29 and 5.29 then now e step is over using this values using this data set using this data set with six samples with six samples all six samples are having the data values 10 1 5 5.29, 5.29, and 5.29. So, using this uh, data set, we are going to find optimal parameters. Optimal parameters. So, for that, we are going to append the input data. Okay, we are going to append the data with the updated mean. With the updated mean. So, after updating the data set, our data set is having uh, 10, 1, 5. 5.29, 5.29, 5.2. So six samples are there. Now we are going to calculate number of samples in the given data set is six. So n is three, n underscore miss is three. So three plus three, six. Six samples are there. Now initially we will guess some parameters, theta values. We will guess with some parameter values. So here I am taking theta a is two, five, one, three. Here uh, theta b is four, two. 1, 6. Why I am selecting uh, theta a and theta b? Because here in standard, uh, I mean uh, in normal distribution, Gaussian distribution, we are having two parameters. One is the mean and another one is the sigma. So that's why we are taking two parameters uh, which is going to be updated. So the now first pair is 2 comma 4, second pair is 5 comma 2, third pair 1 comma 1, three, the fourth pair 3 comma 6. So for this we are going to find out the maximum likelihood value. The maximum likelihood value which is uh, using one formula uh, to uh, find that. So here the formula is given. The formula is given here in this slide. Uh, the We will find out the log likelihood. Likelihood is here given. So likelihood is uh, product of 1 to n number of samples uh, 1 by square root of 2 pi sigma e power minus xi data corresponding data minus mean whole square divided by 2 standard deviation square. So this will give you maximum value. So we will apply the uh, log likelihood to get the value as a smallest value. To get smallest value uh, we are compressing, we are reducing the range. So we are applying the log so when you are applying the log, we will get a uh, log of likelihood of x given theta. x is the sample and theta is the parameter. Okay. So uh, we will get summation of 1 to n xi minus uh, mu whole square by uh, 2 sigma square minus 0 0.5x 
log 2 pi minus n into log sigma. So, this is what given in the um, uh, Jupyter notebook. So, here uh, minus uh, uh, sum of I mean square of okay uh, square uh, x minus mu whole square sum is now of 1 to n okay uh, x minus mu uh, whole square divided by 2 sigma square 2 sigma square minus 0 0.5 n uh, log uh, 2 pi log 2 pi minus n log sigma log sigma so that is given here so when you are uh, ex executing for all the samples for all the uh, sa samples that is the new mean okay new mean we are having uh, we have we have to uh, use for all the sample all the pair all the pair so here first pair we are getting the minus uh, 9.33 uh, second pair uh, theta a theta b minus 9.359 of uh, third pair 1 comma 1 minus 78.589 uh, fourth pair 36 minus 8.075 here maximum likelihood value is minus 8.075 maximum likelihood value is minus 8.075 this is the maximum value so finally optimal parameters best parameters are 3 comma 6 so theta a theta b is found in the maximization step yes 3 comma 6 so 3 comma 6 is the theta a is 3 that is the uh, mean best mean value is 3 and uh, standard deviation is standard deviation is theta b is 6 so this is the best pair for this given uh, data 10 1 5 5.29 5.29 5.29 with for 6 samples. These are the best parameters 3 and 6. Thanks for watching.